All right, YouTubers, this is going to be a real quick tabletop review of the Bond Arms holster for the backup model. It's the backup Bond Arms holster. I've had this Bond Arms for a few years now. It's actually my wife's daily carry here in Mississippi. We do have carry permits, or actually, we just got constitutional carry. Rock on, Mississippi. But anyway, I had the regular holster, not the one that hooks on your side sideways, but just your regular conventional holster that hooked on your belt like so and it flopped around real bad it did not hold it was a bond arms holster it didn't hold secure for what i wanted it would probably be great for walking out in the woods and hunting snakes or whatever but for a daily carry or for riding my four-wheeler which i use this a lot for it didn't work very well i needed something that held it to the body a little better ah so we have the flap that's what this does. It sucks the butt, the butt of the revolver, or the, of the Derringer, into your side so it doesn't print. Because the other holster prints horribly for a small little Derringer. So, after I talk to the people at Bond, which are very great and love to talk about their products on the phone. Love the Bond Arms customer service. The technical guy told me that this holster for the backup would work with my Texas Defender. Which is what this is. The 41045 model. They told me that the end of the barrel would, it has the two and a half inch barrel. They said the end of the barrel would hang out because it is an open end. As you can see, it got about an eighth of an inch, which I'm okay with, even if it hung out farther. The holster is great, it holds it secure, it doesn't print. It's what I was looking for. It's a little on the expensive side. It's about 95 bucks. It's going to be over 100 by the time you get shipping and handling. But as you can see, even though it was supposed to be for the backup model, it fits perfect. Everything's where it's supposed to be. Trigger guard, well, uh, the, the Derringer, sorry, fits in here perfect. It's double stitched down here where it goes on your belt. I am very happy with the holster. So if anybody out there is having a problem trying to find a holster for their little Texas Defender, or it would probably work with other models also. I believe the people at Bond Arms said this holster would work with all their products. It was just the barrel would stick out on some more than others. But I'm very happy with it. It works great. I'm not going to get into the debate if you should carry a two-shot little Derringer for personal protection, which I don't. I usually carry something much more substantial than this but on the days that for whatever reason what I'm wearing what I'm doing a few times a year this is what I carry my wife keeps it in her purse most of the time she has a purse designed to carry a firearm in it and this is what she likes so anything's better than nothing and this is what she chose to carry so here it is but it's a great little gun also the thing is built like a tank it's heavy for a small gun, <clears throat> but as you can see, it's just a big old hunk of stainless steel. I don't believe anybody's ever gave any of these little weapons a bad review, except that they're heavy. They're kind of big for a two-shot, but they, I like it. But anyway, as far as the holster goes, great holster. If you're in the need of one, Look no farther.